Before the Thanksgiving holiday, the governor wrote this letter and sent it to legislative leaders and rank and file lawmakers, asking them to, quote, lessen the impact of those two referendum questions. Should they and will they? Question two imposes a 3% tax surcharge on income of more than $200,000 to pay for public education. Part of the governor's letter reads, no one wants to come to a state that will confiscate over 10% of their earnings, especially when other states, such as our next door neighbor, New Hampshire, take none. Question four hikes Maine's minimum wage to $12 an hour by 2020. Here's the governor's take. Low skilled and entry level workers will get a $4 an hour increase in pay, but those on social security will get an average increase of just $4 a month in their checks. Democrat Troy Jackson says Maine voters have spoken and the legislature should not mess with that. You know, when people go out and collect signatures and put something on the ballot, uh, I don't believe that it's the legislature's place to uh, monkey around with that. In town after town that voted for Donald Trump and Bruce Poliquin, they also voted to increase the minimum wage, so do they want to throw out those other results? Republican Ellie Espling says there are ways to tweak these initiatives while preserving the will of the people. Yes, they, they probably want us to fund more to education. How do we do that in a responsible way? Is this the best way? Um, we think maybe there needs to be some fixes. This could consume next year's legislative session. I hope that we have the, the will to do it, um, but it is a political test of courage, and, and I, I would hope that we would, and we'll have to see. Members of the 128th legislature will be sworn in one week from tomorrow at the State House in Augusta. Paul Merrill, WMTW News 8.